Elon Musk has said Model S sales in China could top the U.S. by as early as next year, but he admits he's not really sure. This was just day one of deliveries. What we see right now is is pretty strong demand. Um, I think probably more demand than we can fulfill this year. In terms of the absolute figure for charging infrastructure in China, I think it's probably going to be quite quite a big number over time. My instructions to the team are to spend money as fast as they can spend it without wasting it. But there are still many unanswered questions for Tesla in China. Will range anxiety and a dearth of charging stations kill the initial buzz? Can it fulfill its order book from China quick enough not to tick off its customers? And will Tesla form a joint venture partnership or go it alone when it plans to build the cars in China within three to four years? Tesla is still at the very early stages. We we're sort of in the crawl stage where we're um, you know, only delivering our first cars in China today. So. Um, I mean, even a year from now, we will really be quite young as a company, extremely young, really. Um, and I think before we, um, you know, I think we sort of want to hit puberty before we start dating, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> One of today's new Model S owners is the president of New York-listed Chinese car website Auto Home, who says he's generally happy with the car, but says certain things like the cramped back seat are not ideal. Its external design is that of a million-dollar car. Its driving experience is that of a car costing more than $200,000. But its back seat is that of a fifteen dollars to $20,000 car. Others, though, have been less forgiving. Some buyers have petitioned Tesla complaining of delays out of the factory in California. We've delayed some of the customer deliveries in China just for a few months in order to ensure that when they get their car, they will have a great experience. Um, and some of them were a bit upset about that. In fact, I met with them earlier today and personally apologized. I think t Tesla is a, a niche product. Uh, it's expensive, uh, so it's essentially a luxury car. It's beautifully designed, and uh, I think they can sell uh, quite a few here in the market. But generally speaking, we have to remember, there's a lot of talk about Tesla, but uh, you know the numbers are not huge. Musk wants to make them here to avoid China's 25 percent import tariff. That may be easier said than done in a country that's encouraging its own EV technology. Elon, are you getting any indication that the government here perhaps is not encouraging a joint venture? Um, that they want to promote their... Uh, it's been very, been very supportive, actually, yeah. I, I think, in fact, uh, I mean, the level of uh, support has been great. So, I mean, I really have nothing, nothing bad to say at all, really. Are you expecting this kind of crush here today? No. <laughs> Do you have a clear China policy? Uh, well, I, I think we, you know, we, we just want to do everything that's yeah. that's needed to encourage electric cars. I mean, I don't think we have a. You know, we just want to do. We, we want to do the right thing. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very much. It's likely to be a sharp learning curve in China for the 42-year-old behind the wheel at Tesla. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg, Beijing.